Hello everyone, Wordfry here, and as you can see this looks a bit different, um, this is Swedish! Um, so I have once before, or like this, Big Fish Games has a Swedish site, so they um, translate some of the games to Swedish, they have French and Portuguese and uh, Japanese maybe too, um, and lots of others, but, and since I know Swedish, because you know, I'm Swedish, um, I did play a game before, I think it was Mystery Legends 3 Beauty and the Beast in Swedish, and it was kind of fun, it's very tiring, but it's fun. And it seemed like people were, you know, not, you know, it wasn't all really bad, apparently. So I thought we'd do that again. I said I would do it again. So, um, I'm gonna talk a bit here first. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna read everything in Swedish and then I'm gonna translate it. And I'm translating it on the go as I read it, which means that sometimes I don't find the exact words and also that this is gonna be a lot more tiring than usual for me to play because that was something I realized last time I did this, which I was um, really surprised about how tired I got from, from doing that. Um, probably takes a lot of brain capacity. So, uh, but, but um, we're gonna play Wooda Whisperer. I was planning on playing Mystery Legends 2, Phantom of the Opera, I think. Lots of people had told me to play that. And I had kind of planned to play that in Swedish too, because I know that it's just in Swedish. And I might do that too, but for some reason I just randomly picked this game. Uh, so, here it says Förbannelsen, which means the curse. Um, and, oh yeah, I'm probably also gonna digress sometimes about language, about Swedish, and talking about Swedish and English, and the differences between Swedish and English, and the likeness and stuff like that, because I'm very interested in languages, and I'm especially interested about languages. Not necessarily learning the language, but learning about it, if you get, um, okay, so it says, Välkommen, uh, Wordfire, uh, welcome, Wordfire, uh, klicka på namnet för att byta spelare. Click on a name to change player. And uh, then we have oh, normal, normal. Oh, in normal läge laddas tipsen snabbare. Du får mer hjälp på aktiva områden när markerade. In normal mode, uh, hints are loaded uh, quicker. You get more help and active uh, areas are, are marked. Whatever. I man ser att läge laddas tipsen långsammare och du får inte lika mycket hjälp. Aktiva områden markeras inte. In advanced mode, uh, hints are loaded slower or slower you don't get as much help and active areas are not marked or uh, sparkly or whatever then we have alternative which is it means alternatives basically so it's interesting that they didn't chose choose the swedish word for settings for example or options but i guess options well okay yeah options could actually be alternatives but alternative but no nah yeah it could have been better uh medverkande means um people who have been involved, which would which pr probably be the credits. And then we have avsluta, which is um, uh, exit, basically. So that was the main menu. This is of course English. So yeah, it's gonna take a lot, uh, it's gonna take a longer time for me to get through the game this time. But um, it's gonna be a lot more extra talking, but I'm hoping we're gonna have fun in anyways. So we're gonna do it on normal. Voodoo, a misunderstood art. It can be used for good or ill. Late 19th century, New Orleans. Madame Laveau? What's wrong? Madame Laveau, please! It's like something stole the life from everything around me. Lillian, I have only enough strength to remain for a moment. An evil power has risen. It has trapped every soul in the city within the spirit world. You must save us, or all will soon be lost in darkness. But, Madame Laveau, I can't. This can't be. I don't know how. I need your help. Take this spell back at the bed. It will allow you to talk to the dead. 
This brick dust will act as a spiritual wall to protect you from the world behind. Take it as well. Lillian, the curse is getting stronger. I have to leave you now. Hurry! Hurry! I'll hurry, I promise. But first, I have to go home to find out if anything happened there. So, as you can see, um, the voiceovers are still in English, of course, but there are it's texted in Swedish. So we are in New Orleans, it's voodoo time, and 19th century. And I don't know if some of you might have seen that when she said 19th century, I'm hoping she said 19th century, I can't remember now, but it said 1800, like, um... In Swedish, it said 1800. That's because in Swedish, the years 1800 to 1899, we call that the 18th century because it all starts with 18. So, I always have to think about like, okay, in in, in English they do it wrong because for me it's you know, they call it the 19th century for some super odd reason. I I don't see the logic. I'm sorry, um, but yeah. So, to me, this would be the 18th century in Swedish, but it's a 19th century in English. So, so here we have menu, which is the menu. We just added a Y instead of U there. And we have the menu. And apparently we're back here. Okay, so it's one of the older games. Yeah, cool. So I must say the voiceovers are really cool. And apparently we're playing Lillian, the young girl there. It's pretty cool. So yeah, New Orleans. And we have a map with some kind of fog of war, I guess. And here it says Hergod, which means mansion. Um, heh. Okay, that's funny. That's funny. Um, uh, tutorial. Uh, this is actually the word used. It, <laughs> we use in school for uh, when it's, there's time planned for when the teachers can walk around and just help everyone. Uh, it doesn't really mean tutorial, but it's so funny that they chose that word. Okay. Will you börja spela? Will you börja spela it? Med interaktiv handledning. Do you want to start the game with a? Interactive tutorial. Okay, should we have some tutorial? Sure, let's do tutorial. I can translate as much as possible. Uh, okay, zoom up. Okay, yeah, so that is obviously uh, an English word we have just, uh, you know, stolen. Uh, I mean, borrowed. Markören förvandlas till ett förstoringsglas när du pekar på ett område där du kan zooma in. The cursor will change to a magnifying glass. When you are hovering over or pointing at, in Swedish, uh, an area where you can zoom in. Look at this, we have like powers and stuff. Ooh, this looks really cool. Okay. Låst huvudgrind. Um, locked main gate. Huvud in, in Swedish is actually head, so it is like head gate or main gate. Interagera, interact. När markören förvandlas till ett öga kan du antingen interagera med föremålet eller hitta information. When the cursor changes to an eye, you can either interact uh, with the item or you can find information. Jag måste visst hitta nyckeln. Uh, it seems I have to find a key. Leta efter föremål. Look, uh, look, looking for or look for uh, items. Du måste leta efter en nyckel. You have to go, you have to look for a key. Stäng det här fönstret och leta igenom vagnen. Um, close this window and, and uh, search through the wagon. Markören kommer förvandlas till ett förstoringsglas över den. The cursor will change into a magnifying glass over it. Oh, it's sparkly! Can we... Okay, förråd. Uh, which would be our inventory. Och det förråd... Oh, oj, sorry. It's <laughs> Swedish. The word förråd. Uh, well, is also used for like pantry or something like that maybe. Okay, we cannot lock it. That's cool. Um, we have Stadskarta, which is a city map. So Karta here is map. So in Swedish, we put words together uh, to make new words like this. So in English, you would have city, white space, map, but we make one word out of it. So city map, Stadskarta. So, a lot of Swedes have a problem with English that you separate every single word and it's really annoying because to a Swede, it would be 
you know, obviously more logical to have it as one word because that's how we how we learn our language, right? So we're like, oh my gosh, would you stop with all the white spaces, crazy people? And of course, I'm presuming that uh, English native speakers have a um, have a hard time with all the the not white spaces. Okay, uppgifter is um, tasks. We have no tasks. Woohoo! Okay, so here we go. Hinabdikti. Okay, tips. Uh, yeah, tips or uh, or hint or you know tips basically. Få tips genom att klicka på det gröna ögat i det nedre högra hörnet när det är tillgängligt. Get a tip or hint um, through uh, clicking the green eye in the uh, lower right corner when it's uh, available. Det kommer slumpmässigt att hitta ett föremål åt dig. It will randomly uh, find a uh, an item for you. So this is our hint button. Okay. Tips besvärjelse. <laughs> Ah, ah, haha. Um, hint spell. Problem? Är föremålen för väl gömda? Du kan alltid använda ditt förstoringsglas som finns i det nedre vänstra hörnet. Problem? Are the items too well hidden? You can always use the um, magnifying glass in the lower left corner. This is magnifying glass. Okay, I don't know what that do does, but okay. So all the items here in Swedish, I, I don't know if I'm gonna translate all of them, but at least you know I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what I'm clicking on. So, handskriven lap. Okay, that was that. So that was a handwritten note. Fröa <sighs> påse. Which makes it funny because if you don't know Swedish, you can't help me find these things. <laughs> uh, and sometimes I'm not sure exactly how they translate it because it can be. Okay, that was kron. Uh, I wouldn't really call it that in Swedish necessarily, but that was like a valve. Okay, maybe it would be kron actually. Uh, sure. Soros frö, which would be sunflower seeds, and the frö på is a uh, seed bag, bag, seed bag, bag of seeds. Uh, where do we have all these seeds we're looking for? Okay, well we need a coin, mint. I like the I like the feet when we're moving. Uh, Hänglås, padlock. Oh, the key is in here. Grind, the nickel. The gate key. There we go. There it is. Oljekanna. Oil can, basically. Hmm. Wow, it. I, I'm sorry, this seat is like everything is like melting together in front of my eyes. This is really hard. Blyerspenna. It would be a pencil. Okay, what does this do? Oh! Okay! Uh, I don't know if this makes it better or worse. But sure. Oh! What was that? That was... Oh! Oh! She had, yeah. Okay, that was a chain. We need, uh... Okay, this is not making it better. Ah, <laughs> uh, coin. Okay, that that was the uh, oil oil flask, oil can. Trasi uh, handiksa. Oh, broken hand um, hand uh, axe. Basically, talkotte. That's the. Um, Da, 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 da. Oh, there's some flowers. There's some flowers. Uh, what do you call them in? Oh, there's seeds. Ah, uh, in English, you call it. Oh, hello, pencil. Uh, pine pine cones. There we go, pine cone. So, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna, you know, because it's gonna take a long time if I have to. Oh, do hard and Green nickel. You now have a gate key. Bra, det här föremålet kan komma till hand senare. Good, this item could be useful later on. Förråd. 
Nyckeln sparas i ditt förråd. Flytta markören till nedre delen av skärmen för att öppna panelen. Ta nyckeln och lås upp grinden. Inventory. The key is saved in your inventory. Uh, move the cursor to the... Um, oh, here's the key actually. To the uh, bottom part of the screen to open uh, the panel. Take the key and open. Unlock the gate. Jag är säker på att stormen har något med förbannelsen att göra. I'm sure that the storm has something with the to do with the curse. All right, so we are going to totally unlock this. So we have en grinnyckel, a uh, gate key, tegeldam, which is dust from um, uh, brick dust, and en pratbesvärelse, a talking spell, a talk spell, a speak spell, for you know, talking. To the dead, speaking to the dead. <gasps> Till ytterdörren. Okej, okay. navigering. Navigation. Navigation. Du kan förflytta dig mellan platser genom att klicka på områden där markören förvandlas till ett par fötter. You can move between areas. Uh, or places, actually. Uh, through clicking areas where the cursor changes to a pair of feet. Ny uppgift. Din mor borde finnas inne i huset. Ta dig in och hitta henne. New task. Your mother should be in the house. Um, make your way in and find her. Okay, if I live here, like, why is it... Oh, to the terrace. Uh, why is it, like, locked? Det finns något taggigt. Det finns något i den taggiga busken. Kanske om jag kan... Om jag hade något att klippa ner den med. There is something in the thorny bush. Maybe if I had something to uh, cut it with. Or, you know, prune it. Blixten fäller trädet så nu blockerar vägen. Jag kan inte gå vidare innan jag får bort det. Uh, the, uh, the thunder, or the lightning, or uh, knock the tree down. It's in the way. I can't uh, move before I, uh, you know, before I get it away from there. Galleriet har rasat samman i oåtkomligt. The gallery has, um, has uh, it's, 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 it's broken. It, it, you can't get there because there's debris in the way or something. You can go to the terrace. Look at the door here. Här är gårdens ytterdörr. The mansion's the front door. Can't even do anything here. Okay, cool. Go to the terrace. Now we are here. We can... Oh, trädgårdsmästarens förkläde. The gardener's uh, apron. Or, you know, work close. Plocka upp föremål. Pick up items. När markören förvandlas till en hand kan du antingen manipulera eller plocka upp ett föremål. When the cursor changes to a hand, you can either manipulate or pick up an item. Du har nu en sekatör! Oh my gosh! You now have a... Uh, sekatör? <laughs> a pruner or something like that. Yeah. I don't know exactly what they have translated from. So. Blomrabatten ser ganska ovårdad ut. Jag kanske behöver något härifrån senare. Uh... The flower bed looks pretty untended, or what, overgrown. Maybe I'll need something from here later on. Nope. Det är inte rätt kom sett. So the funny thing about the Swedish here, when they translate it, is sometimes it's really... It's really... Well, you know, correct Swedish, but it's not always words that you would normally use a lot. Um, so it's, it's kind of funny. <laughs> sometimes the translations are just funny. Uh, fönsterluckor, uh, window um, panes, no, no, no window panes, uh, window shutters, maybe. Ah, rostiga skruvar, rusty screws. I think we can use the uh, pruner thingies over here, right? Yeah, oh, we got a rusty saw, oh, I'm sorry, it's an old saw, gammal saw. It's, it's an old saw, okay, what is, this is too... Träskstigen, the swamp path. Nope, yep, that's a swamp path, all right. We are totally in New Orleans. Hey, we have a rock or a stone, steam. There's also a name in Swedish. Uh, oh, trädet i träsket, the tree in the swamp. It's interesting that I'm thinking a white space is missing there, but okay. Statyn i vattnet. The statue in the water. 
En hungrig alligator vaktar en statydel. A hungry alligator is guarding a statue piece. Recept. Recipe. Hitta och tillaga receptet för att bli av med alligatorn. Du behöver en mortel för att göra det. Find and brew the recipe or make the recipe to uh, uh, to get the alligator out of here, basically. Uh, you'll need a pestle. Mortar. Mortar. Mortar to do it. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, it's a hungry alligator. Okay, cool. I can't give him a stone, I presume. Okay, to the tree and the swamp. Gotta look at our map here. Oh, everything, all those things are the, at the mansion. Okay, cool. Uh, how do I get out of here? I want to get out of here. Oh, okay, cool. Jag måste täcka hålet i bron med något. I have to um, basically mend mend the bridge. Uh, put something uh, um, you know in in the hole here so I can get over to the other side. Not an exact translation, but I mean you you get the gist of what it says. Jag måste komma på sätt att gå över bron först. I have to find a way to get over the bridge first. All right, cool. So. We should probably go back and you know what we can can we saw this? Stone it? Nope. Ah, uh, hmm. Oh wait, we can saw this uh, tree over here, of course. Yeah, we are so great. We can go to Bakgården, the backyard. So yeah, I'm gonna make the episodes a little longer because I know this is going really slow. Because we're doing a dual language, right? Till kapellet, to the chapel. I can ta mig till mors sovrum härifrån. Oh my gosh. They use such a funny word for mother. Okay. On the other hand, this is like 19th century, so I guess they would... Back then, that's actually the correct term for mother, yeah. It's like... It's like mom and mother. And we basically use kind of like the mom today and mother is a little a bit more like oldish oldish fashion so mor which is the old more a bit slightly more old-fashioned word for mother it seems really funny to me here but okay i can get to uh mother's bedroom from here may i have another klettra på i need something to climb on oh up here okay cool mother's up there here's a swing min gamla gunga blott en plank och ett par slitna rep wow they're going all out on the funny, <laughs> slightly oldish Swedish. Jeez. Um, my old swing is only. is but only. Um, a plank. And a pair of frayed ropes. Not frayed, but uh, ropes that are uh, old and used. Something like that. It's basically what it sounds to me. It's basically like, oh, my old swing is but only. That's funny. Okay, so there's nothing, nothing here for us to pick up. Yeah. So the chapel. On to the crypt. Apparently, cryptan. We're going to the crypt. Jag kan tydligt se ljuset från fönstret. Jag måste ta mig in på något sätt. I can very clearly see the light from the window. I have to get in some somehow. Dörren har stängt med hänglås på en kedja. The door is held close with a padlock on a chain. <gasps> oh, we found träpinnar. Område klart. Area done? What? This is this is okay, this is weird. Uh, do you have now You now have um tree sticks, also wooden sticks. Basically, so sticks. Wooden sticks. I don't know. What do you mean area done? This is weird. Okay, the crypt. Hello, crypt. Oh, what is this cursor? I can almost fit on that stone. I must. I can't even use the besvärlig support. I can. It's impossible for me to move this rock. Maybe I can use a spell on it. Oh, it's like a spell cursor. And storm has been lost over the city. There's a storm over the city, or a storm has been uh, has as a uh, yeah, it is over the city basically. In the crypt, okay, we can actually go into the crypt. 
Den här ängen har vakat över familjens bortgångna så länge jag kan minnas. This angel has been guarding uh, our family's deceased. The deceased of the family as long as I can remember. Alright, should we go into the crypt? Let's go into the crypt. Ho, voodoo! Alright, din magi utförs på samma sätt som andra föremål. Ta dammet från förrådet och använd det på mormor. Uh, your magic is, uh, is used the same way as other items. Take the, um, the dust from your inventory and use it on your grandmother. And, note here, in Swedish, there are two words for grandmother and two words for grandfather, because we make a distinction between if it's our father's mother or our mother's mother. So, mormor here basically means mother's mother. That's exactly what it says, mother mother. So that would be mother's mother. And dad's mother would be farmor, which is the old, oldish words for dad's mother, or father's mother, rather, father's mother. So, Swedish people are very used to knowing exactly uh, what grandmother or grandfather you're talking about. So sometimes in English, when we have to translate from English to Swedish, and it's not, you know, sometimes it's not super evident. And we're all, we're always like, okay, is this... Is it this mother's or dad's mother? Because frankly, there's no way to know here. I'm presuming, or I'm not presuming, but it may be that uh, either it says very clearly that this is our mother's mother, or it th the translator has taken a guess, basically. The other graves belong to my other forefathers. The other graves belong to my other ancestors. So yeah, in Swedish, it's important to know exactly which grandmother and exactly which grandfather you're talking about. Like, it's in the word. And it's not just Swedish, of course, but it's always interesting when, when you're supposed to translate from English and you're like, ah, uh, wait, whose mother is this? What? It doesn't say. What? And then, then you take a guess and then, like, three chapters later, you realize, like, oh, oops, that was wrong. Anyways, I thought we would pause here. Apparently, the ESC button takes us to the map. So, you know, we're gonna go out to the menu or something. I don't know, because we should do that. So, uh, yeah, this is where we go. Okay, this looks like we are done with the game. I don't know. Okay, whatever. <laughs> we're just gonna pause here, apparently. Jeez. Okay, game. Anyways, so, uh, this is Wood of Whisper the Curse or Wood of Whisper Fabanlesen. Playing it in Swedish is going to take us a lot, lot longer to get through the game, but I hope it's somehow going to be interesting to do it in Swedish. And um, it's a fun challenge. It's, it's a fun, different thing for me to do, just because I can, because there are Swedish games on Big Fish, right? So. Uh, but yeah, so I hope you're enjoying it, even though it's kind of um, slow, the game. Right now we're playing it. And uh, looking forward to the rest of your games. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later.